survived. Three weeks after the Tassajara fire burned through a dozen homes, residents are still stunned and heartbroken. Action News reporter Caitlin Conrad was out in Tassajara today, and she's live with a look at what it will take to rebuild. Aaron, over the last few days, people were able to get their wells up and running again. Having running water is huge for people that are already living there again. And those who are having to rebuild everything, it's step one in the process. I'm going to build right over where we're standing right now. The will to keep on going is there even for those who've lost everything. I like the community. Uh, it's a good place to live. Bob Eaton is a firefighter with Kashawa Fire, and his home went up in flames while he was working to save others from the Tassajara fire. It's just a mess. He's already begun the rebuilding process, and this time he's planning a stucco house instead of cedar and a lot more concrete. <laughs> Try to make it a little more flame proof, a little more. Although, in reality, there's nothing anybody could have done to save this house. It came roaring up through here. Unfortunately, Eaton's situation isn't unique. Eleven other families lost their homes, too, and the Kashawa General Store has become a point place for people to find out who needs help. Just through the grapevine here, we can hear about somebody who needs something, like the, the kid who lost his laptop and his cell phone. Eaton says this sense of community is why he wants to come back. There's, there's an amazing amount of kindness out there. As you can see, the landscape out there is very changed, and all of the rebuilding isn't going to make a difference. It's really going to have to have some help from Mother Nature. They're hoping for some rain showers, but not too much rain this winter. Erin? Exactly. It's, but it's amazing how fast it does come back when you see the hillsides that are so completely charred and then a couple of years of rain and, and they're back. All right. Thank you, Aitlin, uh, Caitlin. If you are looking for a way to help, the Community Foundation for, the Monterey, for Monterey County has created the Tassajara Fire Fund that will help Carmel Valley with recovery efforts. You can find a link on our website, ksbw.com.